Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. It is New York Day. Oh my god, I'm actually so, so excited. It's currently 12 o'clock. Gonna call an Uber now and get over. My suitcase is basically almost the same height as me. So I love that. But I have never had such a kerfuffle packing. Because we really thought that like October in New York would be really, really cold. We've recently looked. It's meant to be 27 degrees this weekend in New York. And we were like, we've literally packed like sweaters, thick coats. And we're like, we literally needed to rethink like our whole of our suitcase situation. So it's been a whole nightmare. But I'm really, really excited to just get on the road, get on that plane. So basically, I don't actually know when I last paid on my camera. But obviously at the airport now was we basically got to T3 because I thought it was T3 but it wasn't, it was T5. So we had to go from T3 like underground to go to T4, T5. We had to go to T4, realised that we were on the complete wrong train. Then had to go back to T3 to then come to T5. So it was this whole like drama. We're finally here. We're currently in the lounge, which I've never been in the airport lounge before. It's very very bougie i'm only here because um staff, like has points and she's allowed to like bring a guest in when she comes so we're gonna quickly grab some free food it's literally half three now our flight's at 20 past four so we're actually gonna have like food for 20 minutes and then like run to our gate we're just out here living our best pasta lives that, this pasta is insane it's so good got some pesto some tomatoes as well and they're really yum okay. so i was gonna vlog whilst i was up there i got way too scared there's like way too many pasta people in here You guys we've got our mains i've just digged into this this beef is the nicest thing i've ever tried also we just peeped the metal cutlery the china plates and the glass like this is a whole different level like i've obviously never flown anything other than like economy or like economy with like, a bit of extra like room and the little touches it's very much making my heart very happy this little like free upgrade i'll take it into New York baby but we're now just parked up here for the next like hour or two maybe I feel like I haven't told this vlog but me and Zach were saying we've been filming so much things we've been both filming on our phones and Zach's been filming on her camera I've been filming on my camera so I feel like the people around us have probably heard these stories like four times over <laughs> on that flight yeah. it's on so hard to get that is such Ooh, a first one that's fine that's your, I'll let it come round. No, I'll let it come round. I hope we got time. It'll come to me. You let it come round. Yeah, one of Saf's suitcase got left in London. Literally had no idea how. Luckily, Saffron's laptop was actually in the case, which you're not meant to do, but if she hadn't have left it, then we literally wouldn't have been able to like get it back. They then was able to like find her number, WhatsApp her, tell her that they put it on the next and flight. And also, goodness, I bought Wi-Fi, because if I didn't, they still wouldn't yeah. be on the flight, because they were like, we think we have your case. Is this yours? So, thank goodness I did that. Thank good lord. Also, that wasn't my suitcase because someone else has just taken it. Oh. I don't think many people have my suitcase. It had like binding on the front of it as well. Mine's just plain. Oh, okay. I thought we were the same thing. Touchdown! We're in the room! Woo! It's not a stress. But we're here and we're excited. And I think the thing is though is we're actually really glad that we've kind of done like a flight that gets in of an evening because like we're at the right time to like go to bed now, go sleep, yeah, wake good. up fresh and just have like that whole like day so we can kind of like climatize to the time. But I'm gonna quickly show you a room tour before we completely trash the place because no me and Saffron. So we walk in and we've got lots of cupboards. Actually, I'm thinking, do these have hangers in? They do. And an iron. Lovely. That is a panel of wood. Saffron's doing that lovely din diddly dance. Oh, oh. Okay, anyways. And the bath. Oh, and the bathroom. We've got the shower in there. Nice little bathroom bibbidi boo toilet in that section. Oh my god, she's so vain. So vain. <laughs> And then here we have our bedroom, which is so, so nice. We just had to literally turn off the air con, though, because that's one thing about American air con is it's always so cold. Gonna unpack all our suitcases, get it all out. Oh, we're excited, and I will see you in the morning for our first day in New York. Good morning, New York, baby. Oh, my God. It's actually really nice. You'd think, like, New York, like, you want to see it in the evening because, like, all the city lights. It's actually so nice to see it, like, in the daytime. It's so crazy because, like, it's just sinking into me. Like, when you literally look down an avenue, you can look straight down it and they're, like, being... Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no buildings in the way, like... Yeah. What? Like, that's just crazy. We're going to quickly go and have a look at Times Square and then we're going to go and get a Starbucks. Nice. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's further, I don't know. Not I don't know. I don't remember. Not good clue. Wowie. <laughs> I literally just said to Imogen, I was like, if you get here early enough, sometimes they're filming Good Morning America, and they actually are. And we've made it to the coffee stop. That's my home. <laughs>
<laughs> it literally is. This was the first thing Imogen wanted to do when she woke up this morning was no, go to Starbucks. It's, it's, maybe, it's just coffee. So I need coffee. If Saf's seen these, yeah, I saw them when we were in Florida. Saf, you seen these? They're nuts. Like, actually nuts. Oh my god, that would actually kill me. No, I haven't tried that. Oh god. So we're on. Not waiting. Genuinely, actually, very surprised that we've made it this far, considering I tried to run 1k with Jed. Couldn't do it. We like, got to 2k. Super starting. We've got 0 0.1 left. Woo! We're going to sprint it. No. And there we have it. Currently, we're Safi B. We can run three kilometers. So I didn't end up bringing my vlogging camera out because me and Saf have actually just run 3K, which is actually crazy for me because I don't run. I've never done more than like one and a half and like cried about it, whereas that actually felt so, so good. So maybe, maybe I'm gonna come running now. Probably won't, probably won't do it again after this. No, I'm joking. I actually really I actually thoroughly enjoyed that. No, we'll do it again. No, we'll definitely, we'll definitely do it again this holiday. I've got like my skin. I've got like a, can you see that? Like I've got a white patch where it hasn't gone like red. It's really strange. But um, it's fine. It's yay, just we feel hard work. We feel so great. We feel amazing. It's, insane. it's so wow. gorgeous. I could actually sit here all day, especially with there's so many musicians everywhere. We were running through this tunnel. I was saying, have you watched you? Yeah. Yeah. So you know that when um, there's a scene and she gets hit over the head with a brick, yes. that was that tunnel. Yeah. yeah and we yeah. ran oh through the tunnel God, and there was um, yeah, so I've got a clip and there was this oh, guy like yeah. playing like his trumpet. When I walked through, that I was like, this so is so cute. weird. I feel like it's because like. In all the movies, like they are predominantly filmed in New York, and then you know when you're actually there, it's not a movie set; it's real yeah. life. It's just so I was, I wanted, so crazy. I wanted to go under the Home Alone tunnel, which we needed to go under. Right, but I'm sure we'll be back here like multiple times this week. It was it was such a nice walk here as well. Yeah, it's like it's a so half nice. an hour walk, um, it's but it's one straight road. Yeah, it was. About like ten minutes. No, yeah. Sorry, it's crazy. Nice as well when you So we're just having a little look at the menu now. I'm so excited because the guy came over and we're like, we have no idea what we're ordering, like, please help. And he said that we can basically get anything on a bagel. Like, there's like a big like selection up here. I'm not actually quite sure because like I've never tried a everything bagel and they're meant to be the best, but I also love sesame. I think I'm gonna get like maybe like a smoked Scottish salmon and maybe like some cream cheese. I feel like that is calling my name. I've got a cold brew. I've actually only ever tried one cold brew before, so let's give this a whirl. Okay, so food has come. This looks actually insane. Sass also looks so, so great. I'm so excited to try this and I can dig into it. Okay, let's give it a taste test. That is the best thing I have ever tasted in my entire life. Best bagel. Oh my god, I need this every day. <laughs> oh my, my life has actually been changed. Some of the best food that I have ever had. Is very good? Um, no, we're all done. Thank you. That's very cool. I wish I could literally take it home with me. So we're currently just shoe shopping. We're in Steve Madden and we have found so many cute pieces. We could literally come home with a whole store. But I found like some like Chanel kind of like heel kitten heel like sling back juice. They're really, really cute. I'll show you them next time. Like, I'm sorry, but how gorgeous are these? Just about to go into retro. This is one of mine and Saf's favorite, favorite brands. Literally, just look at this stuff. Wow. Oh my god. They've really least like so many sparkly bits for winter. <gasps> stuff, look how cool these jeans are. They got like zips at the top. Wow, look at this stuff. No, you no saffron. We're currently talking about our sleeping schedules. It's currently, what time is it now? Like half four. Mm. Going out this evening, but dinner's not until 10, half nine. We're in actually one of my favourite stores at the moment. Which, well, they don't actually have a store in London. It's called Sporting Ranch. It's like my favourite brand ever. Um, they haven't actually got the collection that I really, really love though. It's online. Just got myself a juice though. Just glass. Very cute little thing. That is all kinds of health. Really? What is it inside? I think it's kale, ginger, cucumber, apple. Oh, I think I like it. It is nice. It's very refreshing. It just, it very much does feel like health in a bottle. It's the ginger. Yeah. If it didn't have the ginger, I'd actually really like that. I kind of like the spiciness though, and it really weird. Oh, no. So I didn't have ginger, I really enjoy that. Okay guys, we've come for dinner at Maison Clos. My drink, we asked for like, obviously like double vodka and so got double tequila. It is straight vodka. Can you see how see-through my drink is? This is dangerous. Seth was saying like in America never order doubles. I was like, no, it's fine, like let's order doubles. It wasn't okay. People over here aren't like a stingy Brit. This is a bloody quadruple. Oh my god, this looks so good. That's purple pasta and trouble is my favorite. Wow, thank you.
touch it. Mm-hmm. Shoot the we bringing them vibes, you know we don't force it. Tell them no rushes. No rushes at all. Hate us or love us, it really don't matter. Ain't holding no grudges. It's like it or love it, it's double or nothing. You ain't getting money, the nigga you bugging. Them ass fat, you know I'm a hug it. Lows by the truck, fuck up the budget. Cash in the den, damn I'm a bucket. OD, you know I overdoes it. If it ain't moolah, we cannot discuss it. Her name is Erica, she finna bust it. She want me to touch it, I'm making her. Like she a Russian, she for the team. She bring her cousins, I'm bringing my brothers. Now it's the scene. I don't even think we're walking the right way. Um, where do you remember to vlog? I'm so proud. AKA I am. AKA Safi is. You just call me Safi, no one calls me Safi. Safi B. People call me Safi B, but that's it. I'm so full. Like, no, no, no. no. Saf my Disgusting. Oh, no. <laughs> you can leave. Don't you ever call me that again. Don't you ever, 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 ever call me Saf my I'm gonna start ca- I'm gonna start calling you. Yeah, what? <laughs> I was gonna say Imi Meister, but that's awful. But Saf Meister. Saf Meister actually sounds decent. In Meister. In my, I was saying In Meister. And that is tragic. Anyways, we're walking to a club. No, that restaurant was unbelievable. That was some of the best food I've no, actually ever the had in my food life. food was actually incredible. It genuinely me sounds like we're just saying okay. that because we're tipsy. Me, but and, no, me and Saf were so confused when we got there because all they were playing was Halloween spooky music. Yeah. I thought, surely not. Like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. Food? 10 out of 10. No, if you come to New York, you should 100, 100% go to Maison Close. It's like a show and a dinner. It's really fun. We were dancing on the tables. I'm sure you saw. Where are we going? I don't actually know. Hi everyone. Good morning. We got home at four and we are going to the gym at 11 a.m. Wish us good luck. I, don't, I actually don't know how we're doing this. We signed ourselves up to a PT and it's at a gym called Dog Pound and it's like such a sick gym and I've been in LA but not been <laughs> here. So we signed ourselves up to it and now we're thinking it's a very bad idea. Very bad. We're probably still drunk. This I girl. think I'm still drunk. This girl's going to be doing 3K which I did enjoy. This I don't know if I'm going to enjoy. I feel so unwell. My big toe is killing. It is bruised from yesterday. I just want to sit on the floor and watch take some cute videos, you know, not actually working out. The way, the way, yeah, the way we're doing right now, we feel great, but no, it's not good. Rotate my stylus, brokenness feeling like seeing, I know Creflo Dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow. Okay, guys, we finished up with Dog Pound. Honestly, it was so great. We didn't actually feel as sick as we thought we were going to. It was really, really great, but sorry, I just so found out because I. We don't know anything. It's like half 12 now, we haven't had anything to eat, obviously on a hangover, my stomach is actually killing me. Um, but we've come to a place called The Butcher's Daughter. Saf says that she's been here before to the one in LA and it's so, so cute. Pain, running from strain, running from things, running from schemes. Couple things I know, couple things I show, couple things I don't. Good bloody morning. We're going to the Empire State Building right now and I'm really, really excited. I remember going there when I was younger, but like I'm actually so excited to go out there. I don't even know if I've gone. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm really sure excited. We have been. Oh, I'm really excited. Maybe I don't know why. Got out the Rockefeller Center a few times. I don't think I've done that one though. Like I think I've done the Empire State Building, but not that one. But there's so many Is different the buildings. Because then there's also the one where when you go inside, they show you how it's built and stuff. I think so, because I know that there's like a photo up where you like sit on the scaffold. Yeah, so I have done it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so I've kind of planned today. Saf actually got up so early, I went to the gym, bless her. Good on you, Safi B. Um, and I just kind of like sat, chilled, did some editing, and then planned for today. So we're off to the Empire State Building. We've got like a few exciting things. We're gonna go to the Upper East Side, which is so, so, I'm buzzing. <laughs> But saying that though, I've just seen that it, I think it's pretty cloudy. Yeah. I don't know oh if we're going to see it's anything. So like you can't really, see really past really. that. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant day to come. 
<laughs> you can't even see down there. <laughs> Saying that though, it is weird that like if you actually think about clouds, like we're in a cloud right now, but we can see everything. No, we are. Like there's cloud all around us. It's just because it's like visibility, I think, for a distance. Do you know what I mean? You can't see much. But we're in a no, we're standing in a cloud right now. No, we are. It's not like there's clouds all around us. It's not like this building just isn't in a cloud. Yeah. I've my brain. Well, that was a 10 out of 10 experience. I will say that we probably should have gone on the first day we got here because that was obviously like yeah. really sunny and bright. Yeah, but if we decided to go on one of the really cloudy, rainy days, for sure. I'm also now just at Oakberry getting at some breakfast. Look how unreal this looks. And it is so, so yummy. I mean, it's very cold and it is really cold outside, but like it's so worth it. We've just come to Raz for a little cup of hot chocolate and we're really, really excited. Just before we walk over to the Met, it's actually so, so cute in here. indeed in Chelsea we've come to a place called John Jack's honestly I get this wrong every single time Jack's wife Frida um yeah we're in Chelsea me and Seth actually haven't been into Chelsea yet so I don't know if we'll maybe have like a little walk around after this but no we're really excited we've seen so many good things about this place um yeah. oh yeah have you had a look at the menu yet oh she's still going for it I'm just saying to people that I miss music like we're walking around don't I sing constantly yeah, it's so weird no one in cabs so has. <laughs> <laughs> no one in the cabs plays music, it's so strange. Have you been in the cabs since you've been here? No, I walk. Every oh, that's good. That's probably a better idea. Honestly. In every cab we've been in, yeah. I'm, it doesn't Wow, this, this looks like so yum. This is a perfect size because I wasn't like overly hungry, but it looks so yum. Funny enough, a lot has actually happened since I last picked up the camera. And um, basically, after lunch, we went to Soho House. We had a few drinks. By a few drinks, I mean a many few drinks. Me and Seth were then wandering around Chelsea for God knows how long. Um, and then we went to a Halloween costume. What? Halloween store. I, no, I, I actually genuinely feel so bad. Just don't think my brain's working yeah. at this point. Um, and basically, we said that we weren't actually going to go out tomorrow night. Tomorrow night being Halloween, because we were like, I don't know, like we did go out one night and we dressed up. So we were like, oh, like I don't know. We were just a bit over it. But now that we're kind of here, we're like, we're only in Halloween. We're in, what? Oh, what? My God, we're only in New York for Halloween once. Well, we might come back, but you never know. Do you know what I mean? So we're like, you know what? Let's just like dress up, go out. Why not? So, but obviously, we've used our costumes. We went to the like Halloween store. It was actually called Abracadabra New York City, which is very strange. Um, bit of an ick. But we ended up buying like fake blood and like vampire teeth because we've both realised that we've got like leather dresses, so we can like kind of make it like vampire diaries, whatnot. We're now actually on our way to. Well, I say on our way. We literally need to leave this second um to go and see chicago we've had such a full-on day if you actually think about it like we haven't stopped yeah. but it's been like so so lovely um so we're now gonna go to chicago it's only 10 minutes from here which is really good because obviously like it's on Times square broadway area yeah we actually really need to leave i actually don't really know the storyline of chicago so i'm really really excited it's gonna be great i feel like it's such like a sassy like really gorgeous sexy kind of like theater work so i'm so excited and oh we're just gonna have such a great time so let's go that is what we're seeing. We go together like a And all that jazz, I wanna start. Don't know the rest of the lyrics actually. And all that jazz. Honestly, I actually just went, yeah. I dread to like know what we actually look like walking down the street. That jazz. Do we know any more lyrics? No, it's like. This is becoming a regular, isn't it? Where I just don't finish my videos. I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a comment, subscribe, a like down below, all the good fun at Jazz. If you want to see any more New York content, I used to do a lot of TikTok vlogs. So like, obviously there's days missing there because we were there for what, six nights. And I think I filmed maybe like three. So if you want to see the others, it's because they're on TikTok. Honestly, the trip was one of the best trips like I've been on. It was so, so fun. And it's like, if anything, it's leaving me wanting to go back for more. Um, so I'm really, really excited to hopefully maybe go back in the near future. Me and Seth really did have the best time ever. Chicago, it was great. However, like, ah, uh, I don't know. Like, I loved the dancing in it. I loved the singing. I just didn't love the storyline. And I think, like, that's the only way, like, I would fault it. Not that I want to fault it, but, like, I just... Yeah, the storyline wasn't for me. But, like, I appreciated, like, the fossey in it and... 
like Frosty has started dancing. I don't, I've just said a random word that people probably wouldn't actually know. And uh, like I say, the dancing and singing was incredible. Um, but yeah, I realized that I literally like filmed the show and then nothing else happened. The next videos I actually see you in. I'm thinking maybe that I vlog this week. Got a fun like few different bits and bobs. And then the week after will probably most likely be a pack with me for Australia. Me and Jed go to Australia so soon now. It's currently the 7th. We go away on the 25th. Everything is just going by so quickly. It's actually crazy. So obviously in Australia for a month, we're going with my adventure project, which is going to be so fun. I'll talk about it more like in the upcoming videos. But yeah, all fun things coming should be good. <laughs>